in multiplication or division? In multiplication or division? In multiplication or division? The final result, the final result should retain, should retain how many segment digits? How many? That's all. Okay. The write down the final result should retain as many significant figures. The final result should retain as many significant result, significant uh, digits or numbers, figures as are there in original number with least significant figures. Is it logical? The final, the final result should retain as many significant figures as there are in the original number having least number of significant figures. Does it make sense? It makes sense because number of significant figures represent precision. So if you multiply a lesser precise number with a more precise number, your precision will be equivalent to the precision of the least right so the outcome should have same number of significant figures as there are in the original number having least significant figures okay so let's take one example you have to find the density of a substance whose mass is don't use calculator though. 4.237 gram and it occupies a volume of 2.51 centimeter cube. You need to find the density in gram per centimeter cube. Please find out the answer. See, at times we have this habit that when we divide, we keep on getting more and more decimal places and we keep on adding them. Okay, that should not happen. You have to stop there. Number of significant figures should be 3. So, what is the answer? What is the least number of significant figures? 3. 1, 2, 3. So, your answer should have 3 significant figures. So, what is the answer? 1.68. How many said 1.68? Others? What is the third decimal point you are getting? One point? Six. 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 You are getting one point six eight eight. So what you have done is you have just you know knocked off the third decimal place onwards. Right? You have not considered the third A. So actually when you divide mass by volume, you are getting one point six eight eight like that. Okay, now you have to write it in terms of three significant figures. So what should you write? 1.69. You should write it as 1.69. It is closer to 69 than 68. Getting it? Makes sense. Okay. Now I am giving you, you one more question. Please solve it. You have you have mass. Stop talking. Mass is 6 kg and acceleration of an object is 3 meter per second square. You need to find total force acting on it. How much? How do you say 18? 18 is how many significant figures? And this has so answer should have and should only have only one significant figure. Twenty is the answer.
So this is for the division and multiplication. What about addition and subtraction? Please write down the rule for addition and subtraction. No, no, here you take it as because this is an actual reading. Later you can round off final expression. Reading you can't round off. Reading itself defines it is precise and that. So how can you round off? Rounding off happens when you kill your answer. Guys, focus here. Now, see, whenever you write a reading, let's say you write 11.2. When you write 11.2, we are uncertain about the last digit because there is error. Because of the error, the last digit can be something else. Okay? So, your signal figure is a sum of certain digit and uncertain one. Okay? So, remember that the last digit is uncertain. Write down the rule for addition or subtraction. Addition and subtraction. The final result, write down the final result should retain addition subtraction. Final result, final result should retain as many decimal places. Final result should retain as many decimal places as are there as are there in the number in the number with the least decimal place. Understood? It should retain how many decimal places? Whichever has the least number of decimal places. Okay? Suppose you are adding two numbers. One has three decimal places, other has two. So the outcome should have only two. Understood? So let's take one example. Stop talking. You have 436.32 gram, 272.2 gram, and 0 0.301 gram. Okay? These three masses, these three masses are kept on a on a weighing this thing scale. So how much should be the reading of the weighing scale? So Nothing, uh, let's say, completely different what you think. 
but let's study those as well systematically. Right, right on rounding off. Rounding off the uncertain digits. Okay, so now tell me if it is 2.78, I want to round off to just one decimal place. What it should, should be? 2.8. So this will be 2.8. What if it is 2.76? 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. 2.8. What if it is 2.6 So guys, there is no ambiguity if, the, if you are rounding off a digit which is more than 5. No ambiguity whatsoever. Right? If it is more than 5, you just increase the number preceding to it. Alright? But if it is 5, it is exactly in between. Okay? So you should have a rule so that half the time you increase, half the time you leave it. Okay? The rule says this, that if a number preceding to 5 is an odd number, then you make it even. Please write down. If a number or a digit, if a digit preceding 5, if a digit preceding 5 is, is an odd number, is an odd number, then you increase that number by 1 and drop 5. Simple. You have to make sure it becomes even if it is 5. Okay? Please write down first and take compare. Okay? So if there is a digit which is an odd number, then you have to increase it by 1. If you are if rounding off 5. Understood? But then if the preceding digit is already an even number, then you should leave 5. You should just drop 5. You should not increase it. Understood? So that is why 2.65 is 2.6 and 2.75 becomes 2.8. Okay? Now, what is the doubt? Uh, what if the digit preceding 5 is 0? Digit is? 0. zero. Zero is even. Two point one. Make it two point one. Sorry, two point zero only. Is zero. Two point zero. Five is. What? Five is not in the middle of. See, five here. You are starting from zero. Zero. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten cannot come. I understand what it is. I understand. Okay? But if this is what the rule is, now you can't argue why there is such a rule. Are you getting it? Shh. This is not mathematical rule. This is an assumption that all of us let. It, it is like arguing why this much is 1 meter. Can, can somebody argue that why it is 1 meter? Okay? Similarly, you cannot argue why if it is even, I am dropping and why if it is odd, I am increasing it by 1. All of us have assumed that let us all follow the same way of rounding off. Otherwise, what will happen? Somebody will round off 5, somebody will not round off 5. It should not be a matter of individual choice. All of us should follow the same thing. That is why there is something which everybody has agreed upon. Understood? Alright? So this is the rounding of rule. Any any doubts? Whatsoever. On the rules, any doubt. Like, you can ask me that these are the rules, what will happen to this scenario? But let's not question the rule itself. Okay? You can't question the rule. Because that rule itself is an assumption. It's not logical or like, it's not, it has some logic, but it is not a mathematical logic. Any doubts? So what if the question is 0 0.5? What if the question is 0.5? Then what will happen? Zero. If you have to round off, then it will be 0. 
Okay. It will be 0 0.15. 0 0.2. If you have to round off. If you have to round off. Okay. Fine. So this is all the chapter is all about. Units and measurement. Okay. Any doubts on the entire chapter? Anything you want to discuss? Anything? Nothing? Nothing? Alright. So this is your first chapter of physics. And again I am repeating there are, there will definitely be a question in J advanced. Okay. There will be a question in J mains also from this chapter. And you have to get it right because there cannot be difficult questions made out of this chapter cannot be okay but the chapter which you are going to study now essentially what you are trying to do now is next chapter is about mechanics there is sequence of chapters on mechanics that are going to come and that is never ending you can't say that okay this much I have done problem solving, I am done with kinematics, I have done with laws of motion. It is, it is never ending. Okay? But this chapter, if you study for let's say a couple of hours, this chapter ends. There will be nothing, you can draw a boundary like this, that nothing beyond this can come. Okay? So this is again a caution for you that do not take it lightly, this chapter. Alright?